That's true. Naked Palpatine. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, you pick that one. Fresh out of the clone tank, nude Palpatine. Is my That's the first thing I think of when you say Dark Empire Palpatine. Welcome to one of my least viewed videos. Because nobody cares. But I'm talking about it anyway. Um, Dragon Age Asunder uh, is the third novel written in the Dragon Age setting. Again, written by David Geiger. David Geiger being one of the lead writers of the first two games. I think he is also part of the third game. But he wrote the three novels in the small expanded universe of Dragon Age. There was The Stolen Throne, which was a prequel to uh, Dragon Age Origins. There was uh, The Calling, which focused on Duncan. I did not review that one, but that's also before the first game. And then Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. And the next two novels I'll be discussing um, take place after Dragon Age 2, but before Dragon Age Inquisition, which is the third and latest game uh, in the series. Uh, the last game, Dragon Age Inquisition, came out when I was in middle school. For reference, I'm 23 now. And we are still waiting on Dragon Age Dreadwolf. So, you know, it's been a while. But it's supposedly coming out soon-ish. So I thought, might as well go through Inquisition again, but before doing that, might as well go through the whole EU, or the little EU there is, with the time remaining. So, here we are, um, with Dragon Age uh, Asunder. Uh, I don't want to get into spoilers too much, but basically, the biggest aspect to it would be continuing the ongoing problem of the mages versus the Templars. And the whole issue surrounding that, which is vaguely hinted at in Dragon Age Origins, vastly the focus in Dragon Age 2, and is continuing to be the focus moving forward. Um, there are some returning characters here that you will know if you've played Dragon Age Origins, uh, and you may have seen her walking around in Dragon Age 2, but uh, one of your former companions, Wynne, makes an appearance, and she's a character in, along with Reese who's a new character, um, Evangeline, who's a new character, and Adrian, and a character who's going to be uh, a companion in Dragon Age Inquisition, by the name of Cole, a mysterious spirit who's invisible to everyone except a few. Is he a demon? Is he something else? Is he a mage lost in some different realm? Don't really know have to read to not find out, because this series will not give you a clear answer. It, you're going to have to play Dragon Age Inquisition to truly know, but we get our introduction to him here, and it's really interesting, especially if you read this before Inquisition, so which I recommend. Overall, um, basically, uh, Reese, Evangeline, Adrian, Cole, and Wynne, go on a mission to find a Tranquil. A Tranquil being a mage that has been stripped of all emotions, of all personality, so as to not be possessed by a demon. And again, if you have never played Dragon Age, none of this is going to make any sense to you. But it's a little fun mission amidst some good character development and interaction and furthering the uh, conflict between uh, these two factions as it will come to a head in Dragon Age Inquisition, even though it won't be the biggest part of Dragon Age Inquisition because there are other things that are kind of going on in that game that are bigger. But that's the gist, without spoilers. I, re I, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good book, um, especially if you like the video games. I wouldn't say, like, The Stolen Throne, I'd say read that before playing the video games to see if you want to even attempt diving into that world. 
I will not read this if you haven't already played the first two games. That being said, it was really good. It was a really good ride. Uh, I'm glad that David Geiger got to write a couple books uh, to further flesh out the world that he helped create. So, overall, really good. Really enjoyed it. Going to get into spoilers now. If you don't want that, time to leave. Um, okay, so, I warned you. So, watch out. Um, this is one year after Dragon Age 2. In the beginning, we get a little cameo from Leliana, which is really cool. She's talking to Evangeline, who is a, a Templar. There have been six murders going on around um, the Magi Tower, and it's all due to Cole killing them. Uh, well, the biggest thing I've learned in years is that Wynn is Reese's mother, which is one thing. She apparently went to meet him after the events of Dragon Age Origins, which I feel like there was a conversation that the hero for Elden, your character, and Wynn had that might have made her want to go seek out her son. But it was really cool. We also get to see Shale again. She was a DLC companion, but is of course canon to the games, as have always been there. Which is this golem, this like statue come to life. And it's she's just as amazing here as she was in the game. So we find out that the Tranquil um, that they were searching for uh, was possessed by a demon, so they have to go into the Fade to save him. But I think the more interesting thing about this entire section, because we've seen the Fade in Dragon Age 2 and in Origins, but I think the more fascinating thing here is when we get to see uh, Cole's sort of backstory, that his father was abusive, killed his mom, that... His mom, the last thing she told him was to hide, to whatever, do whatever he could to hide from his father and his sister. And they're hiding like a cupboard. But um, she continued to cry and make a lot of noise. And mom told him to be quiet. So with a murderous father on the loose in the house or in the barn or whatever. Cole killed his sister. Now is this even true? Or is he a demon? Or is he something else? I don't know. But if it's true, that's really sad. Because this kid was like, what, seven? Eight? It wasn't like, oh, I want to kill my sister today. It was a really hard situation. Um, not that I excuse it, if that is true. Again, I don't know what's true and what's not, but uh, it seems like it's true. And that's a really awful thing to have to go through. Um, and then he killed his dad, because his dad was awful. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a rough scene. But um, we learn that the Tranquil somehow learned how to reverse the effects, which would allow them to get possessed. Um, and that becomes a whole thing with the Templars and the mages, and it just keeps blowing up. And further, it gets to the point where they actually meet the Divine, which is really cool, which, if I think I'm right, she's going to die <laughs> in the beginning of Inquisition, because it begins with a meeting of the Templars and mages blowing up. So, you know. But she was really cool and reasonable here. It all comes to a head. There's a big uh, fight near the end. Um, Reese gets accused of killing the Tranquil, which he didn't. And it wasn't Cole. We don't really know who did it, but in theory, it's the Lord Seeker, who is this dude that's been on their case for like the entire book. And he attacks Reese and Evangeline finds him and she gets stabbed. So Wynne, you know, the thing about Wynne, if you play Dragon Age Origins and you know this, that she has this spirit that's been living inside her. 
that's kept her alive when she should have died before. But it's not malicious, it's not a demon, it's not a monster, it's, not, it's just a spirit. Um, and she gives that up and gives it to Evangeline so she can continue on living. So when finally dies. Now I thought that's pretty big. Because, you know, most tie-in media doesn't do something like that substantial. Like, sure, she was just a side character, and she's probably never going to appear again in the games anyway. But, like, if anybody wanted to use her as, like, a side, as, like, a side quest in a video game, they can't now. Because they killed her off. They did that in a novel. You know, and I don't see that too often except for in the old Star Wars Expanded Universe. So that's pretty cool. Now I know this happens again in Halo somewhere. I know exactly who. I've been spoiled on that. But I know a lot of people get upset about that. But at the same time, isn't that a reason you want to read a book? Not to play it safe and just have a bunch of stories that are inconsequential because you can only do big things on screen? You know, like, I don't know anything about Disney Star Wars, so I won't get into it, but I know, like, a lot of it is safe because, like, the big stuff's going to happen on the TV shows and the movies. You know, you, you can't have a Yusong Vong war in Disney Star Wars because you can't. So... I think it's cool when, yeah, I mean, this is just mainly a side story, and she was never, like, the most important character, but she was a character from the game, like, a main character, um, at least in the first game, so for her to just be killed off like that, and the only way you would know that is if you read a book, is crazy, um, and I really like that, so, uh, I was surprised by it, and it, and it works really well, uh, and then the end of the book, we learn the truth of who did it. Who framed Reese? Uh, it was Adrian, which was like his childhood friend. Because um, she's sick of it. She basically pulled an Anders from Dragon Age 2. She wants everything to come to a head. And so she decided to just rile everybody up. And she would gladly do it again. And so that was rough. Um, but very much in line with the Dragon Age franchise, I guess, if people go into extremes. But overall, it was really good. If I never played Dragon Age Inquisition, which I never finished it, I played it, though, back when it came out. Um, but it has me super interested in Cole. It has me super still invested in the mage conflict. Dragon Age 2 did that substantially well. This book does it, too. And so it just has me more excited for Inquisition, which I guess is kind of the point. And I do believe in, like, a note or something. They don't actually appear in-game. But you do see the names of these characters pop up. I know that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I wish I had more to discuss, but that's basically it. I, I, lo I loved it, though. It was a good book. Until next time. What, what's going to be the phrase for this? May Andraste. No. May the Maker watch over you.